Circling back to a couple of the questions that I generally ask all of our guests, Paul, um, the first one being, what's one piece of marketing advice that you would give to business owners now um, around strategy, tactics, et cetera, that they're probably not considering? What's, what's underrated in your opinion? Underrated? Um, focus, I think. Um, we give TV because we're full service. Um, and our name starts off indicating one service, so it's something we look at ourselves. But so many businesses I work with and don't focus on what they're really good at. And I always give this analogy that if you imagine that a business is a Swiss Army knife and you on your homepage you've got all your blades out, right? You're telling you're trying to cram everything into the person's psyche. Like we do all these forty five services. Great. Are you an expert in any? What's your sharp blade? And I feel like if you can try over the years, first few months and years of the business to identify what your sharp blade is, lead with that. And but don't ignore obviously everything else that you do. And obviously that mainly applies to multi service, multi faceted services business. But we see that a lot in the professional service sector where, you know, a law firm or something or an accountant will focus on on one thing, but not 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 uh, won't focus on one thing. They'll focus on too much perhaps. And another one is again, of course, I think this comes down to audience focus. Is we tend to you know, with terms of strategy, so many people that will put on the, on a website. I used to do on the printing industry, so they would talk about their certificates, their accreditations, their ISOs, accredit for things and their equipment. I've got this print machine. I've got this, this thing. For me, that's like going out for dinner with the missus on a Friday night, but playing the restaurant first to ask, has the chef got a health and safety certificate and what oven manufacturer do you use and what are the pots and pans made of? I don't care. I, mean, I care about the experience. And I think that a lot of people get confused by broadcasting the marketing. I want to say this, actually, you've got to consider what the audience is interested that's a really, really important point for people. And also to consider that the, the audience that you have right now probably aren't the audience that you want to have. So again, Could that you. focus and belief in the process that if you create the right content and it is targeted at the right people, that they will eventually find you and start to align with you and support you. Um, but it's tough going because there's, there's, it's lagging indicators, right? Like you, you don't find out that that's working until you've been doing it for three, four, five, six months. Um, so, but yes, I, I think on the, on the focus side of things, there are a lot of businesses that are, if I'm fair, like it, I, I can be the same, right? Like shiny object syndrome is real for me. I'm ADHD and I'm like, oh, new tool. Are you kidding me? Let me play with this for six days when actually I should just be doubling down on the stuff that I'm already doing really well because that's delivering results. And it's hard to kind of just keep that question in your mind. Like, do I need to be doing this right now? Is this aligned with where our future's at? And, and I think again, to your point, that, that's where having that external advice can be really useful. Um, flipping. Yeah. 